Looking at rocky landforms, you might think they've always been the same, but they're actually always changing. These rolling hills were once very different. Millions of years ago, they were jagged peaks. The surface of Earth is constantly transformed by a process called weathering, where energy from the sun causes rock to break down into smaller and smaller pieces. But the sun doesn't melt or break the rock directly. The process is more complicated than that. The sun's energy warms the ocean and liquid water evaporates into water vapor in the air. Then the water vapor condenses into clouds and falls as rain or snow. Energy from the sun also warms the atmosphere, making air move around as wind. Together, the moving water and air interact with Earth's surface, causing weathering. Here are some examples of how this can happen. Wind can blow small rock particles over landforms, slowly wearing down the rock. In the mountains, frozen water falls as snow and forms glaciers that are like huge rivers of ice. The ice grinds against mountain rock, slowly carving valleys. Water from rain and melting snow forms fast-moving rivers. River water bounces rocks around, causing them to bump into each other and break into smaller and smaller pieces. Through this process, giant boulders can break down into tiny pieces of sand. Broken down rock is called sediment. Sediment is moved around by the same wind and water that created it. This process of moving sediment is called erosion. Erosion happens in many ways. Rivers can move sediments downstream. Wind can blow sediment to a new location. And rain can cause landslides that move sediment downhill. Now you know how energy from the sun causes weathering and erosion on Earth.